Hello everybody, this video is going to be my August glossy box and birch box. I was, normally I'm a bit disappointed with the glossy box and quite impressed with the birch box and I don't know whether I'm impressed with the birch box or not really this month. It's a bit of a, I'm not sure about the box kind of situation. Um, I will show you the glossy box, I didn't realise this but it's their three year anniversary as such they've been going for three years now so this is the card that it came with and I was quite impressed with this box as I say the first thing I got was um is it the rack I don't know if I've said that right I'm not very good at pronouncing things and it's a perfume and it's just a little is it a spray one? Oh, it's a Oh, you take the top off and you've got little holes on the top to put it on. Oh, it smells okay. Not really my sort of smell. I won't go, and buy, go out and buy like a full one of these. But it smells alright. It's quite a good size sample, that one. I don't know how big it is. Um, two mil, so it's not too bad a size one. And it says... Where is it? That a full... Oh, a full size one is 50 mils and it's £6 to £7. So... To me, I think that's quite a lot, and I'm not saying it's a nice smell, but not. I would definitely not pay £6 or £7 for it. I also got a mascara, and this is from Essence. This is another mascara that's going to go in my little mascara collection. I love mascara, so I do have quite a few of them. And this is I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And a full size of this is this size, and it's... £2.79 so that's quite good for a mascara and the brush is huge so it's a plastic brush with the plastic bristles and it's really big and it doesn't wipe off too much of the product the hole that it goes in is like massive so I'll be interested in trying that it says mascara for extreme and crazy volume ultra black so that'll be quite good to try I do love <coughs> trying out new mascaras I also then got this this is like a glossy box um, like specially made for glossy box and it's got the glossy box what do you call it logo on the front of it and it's a highlighter and it says this is a full size one I think it's a full size one yeah full size one and 95 and it says dab across cheekbones on Cupid's bow or brow bone or anywhere just for a natural glow, really. And looks like that. And it's a cream, not a powder. And I don't know if it's really going to show up much on camera. That's it on my finger. So that'll be quite interesting to try. Is it? It's got like a, it sounds really weird, but. I don't like the smell of vanilla, I really I don't like the taste of vanilla, I don't like the smell of it and I always find things like this always smell of vanilla, I don't know why, I find a lot of cream products smell of vanilla, does anyone else find that or is it just me, just me being weird probably. I then got this and this is from Figs and Rouge mini hand cream and a full size is 80 mils, how much is this, oh this is 20 mils and a full size is £6.95 so that's not too bad I don't think for a hand cream and it says massage into hands as often as desired and this actually comes sealed, which I really like, I think everything should come sealed so I'm not going to open it just because I've got hand cream on the go at the moment so I don't want to open this one and risk it drying out but um I do think that everything should come sealed to be honest because I just think it's so a lot more hygienic that things are sealed. Then I also got this which I think I got this in one of my other glossy boxes like a long time ago and it's the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer and it's an intensive super conditioning pre-shampoo treatment for all hair types, adds elasticity, manageability, bounce and shine. And to be honest when I used this before I didn't really find that it did anything that great. I didn't find any difference in my hair or didn't notice any difference in my hair. I just didn't I didn't really think that it was worth purchasing a full size bottle of 250ml for £38. And that just seems a lot for me. I know it's a treatment and not just a shampoo or conditioner, but £38, I think that's a lot. 
and it says before shampooing wet hair and apply to mid lengths and ends cover with a shower cap or towel and leave in for 20 minutes or more rinse and follow with shampoo and conditioner if you have fine hair shampoo twice and yeah I'm, I'll give it another go but to be honest I'm not that excited about that product really and this was a birthday bonus one and this is from you Eve's Rocha I think that's how you say it and this is in colour pink and it's a nail polish and a full size is three mils and this is oh this isn't full oh is this full size because this is three mils this must be a full size and it's three pounds sixty that's tiny um yeah that's really odd for a nail polish to be that tiny um and this is in colour rose, I don't know if I said that. And it says apply a thin layer of varnish over like you would with a normal nail varnish. And it's just a really light pink colour. It's a really light pink. It's quite cute, but it is very, very tiny. But it's quite cute. So that was my glossy box. So I'm actually, I was quite impressed with that box really. Um, I'm glad I got mascara because I just love trying out different mascaras. So mascaras are my thing. Um, I do have quite a lot. Um, I will do a. I did film a long time ago um, the setup for my makeup now because I do have a dressing table. And if you watched my collection video when I lived at my parents' house, I always said that I really, really, really wanted a dressing table. And now I've got one now that I've moved into my flat. And I did film it ages ago, but it just didn't come out that well. So I'm, I'm going to refilm it and then. Um, you can just see how I've got things set up and you can see again how many mascaras I have. It's quite bad really, so be embarrassing how many I do have. Um, so anyway, on to my birch box and this is what came with the birch box. And in the birch box they have, sometimes have cards to say what you're going to get in the next one. So it's like a teaser and it did have like travel things. So this, this is what came in the box with all the products in it. So you just open the box and this was what is present how it's presented so I quite like the like plastic cover thing that you get so I suppose that's an extra product or an extra item even so I've just run through these I got uh, oh, I'm like, how why do they give these products such funny names Lumiere de Hiver I don't know if I've just butchered that name, but um, I was quite excited about this actually because I am going on holiday. So, and I did want something because my hair's dyed. I did want some kind of like leave-in thing or like a protector of the colour from the sun. And so I got this, and I was like, this is what I'll take then. I'm not going to bother buying anything. And it says, um, which one is this? Oh, um, it's by. It says line number four. I don't know. If that high performance hair care number four, I don't know if that's the name of the um, brand or whatever. And it says a leave-in condition spray to detangle and protect against heat and sun damage. Spritz over damp hair and comb through before drying and styling. So that's going to do well. It, this is what a product I wanted. So hopefully it's going to do what it says it's going to do. So oh, it smells. It smells a bit strange. It doesn't smell nice. It smells of a medicine or something from when I was younger, but I can't think. It's got a really odd smell. Yeah, I'm not liking the smell that much, but if it does what it says, then hopefully that will kind of outrule the smell. <laughs> and a full size of that is £20. I then got this. This is um, by Sarah McNamara and it's a Miracle Skin Transformer hydroactive microderm uh, and this says mi micronized magnesium oxide crystals smooth refine and polish for gorgeous summer skin and it says use wet fingertips to massage upwards over your skin for two to three minutes avoid eye area rinse and pat dry so it's just kind of a face wash really and it just says the same thing pat dry yeah so it's just like a face wash and this one is also sealed which again I like as I've already said so a full size of that is £25 um, I then got this which is a perfume which I think is really sweet when they come in like envelopes like this and open the envelope 
and the perfumes in there, which I think is quite sweet, really. And this is a spray one. What is it? Oh, if it's got a spray. That's it. It smells alright. I am quite fussy with perfumes. It doesn't smell... I like really sweet, fresh smelling perfumes. And it's okay. It's not that bad. Um, it that A full size of that one... Oh! Deary me. It doesn't say what a full size is. But it says... That is by... Nana Del Barry's. I don't know. Um, Lux Fragrance captures the romantic essence of life and travel. And then it's just obviously just a perfume. It doesn't say how big a full size one is, but it's £105. That's craziness. Absolute craziness. I just, I want to meet someone that would spend that much on a perfume. I really do. Um, and this one, I think I've had something from these before. It's the Dead Sea Spa Magic. I'm sure I've had, I don't know if it was a shower gel or it's a face thing or something. No, it might have actually been bath stuff. Yeah, I think it was bath crystals or something, something that went in the bath. I seem to remember something like that. So, I have used this brand before and a full size one of these is £7.15. And it says a luxurious, a luxurious moisturising multi-purpose body wash slash bath gel with very refreshing scent. Add under runny water in the bath or use as body wash in the shower. So, it's kind of like a bath or shower gel really. And it's green. And it has just a really fresh, just a really fresh smell to it. So I might even, I don't know if actually that would be big enough for me to take on holiday, but I might take that if I decide it's big enough. And then the last thing I got is Wild About Beauty, a powder shower, power shower gel. What am I talking about? A powder eyeshadow even. And a full size of this, which is... um. This is a full size. Is thirteen pound. It says a long lasting satin texture shadow from oh Louise Redknapp and Kim Jacobs Paraben Free Range. Apply with fingertips or a brush and blend. Oh, I didn't know this was um Louise Redknapp's. Oh, it says paraben free um, against animal cruelty. So this is good. So it's not been tested on animals. So that's quite nice. So this is the thing sort of thing I like. So I didn't know anything about this range and now I found out that it's against animal cruelty I'm more likely now to go and look up this range on the internet and see if there's anything else that um, I'd want to buy or use from their range so I like things like that when you discover things so it just says wild about beauty on death that's going to pick up because it's quite dark just looks like this and this is in colour number three and just comes with a mirror and it's got is that a butterfly? I think that's a butterfly on it. And it's just like a taupe colour. And I actually really like this. I have swatched this before I did the video. And I don't know if that's really going to show up on camera. But it's just like a really nice sort of golden droopy colour. I just think that's really nice. And so I might actually just take this on holiday. I was going to take maybe my naked palette but... I might end up just taking this, but obviously I'll do a video on the stuff that I do take. And so that was everything I got in, oh, I don't know if I said the price of that is £13, I'm not sure if I said that. So that's all I got in the Birch Box. And then they also did a book of The Proposal. And I think, I don't know if this is a film or it's coming out as a film. I'm sure I've seen this advertised. And I don't think this is, um, oh, a chapter sampler of um, The Proposal by um, Tasmania Perry. And it's just obviously a chap sample of a book which is quite good so I suppose you can read that and if you like it you can buy it to go on holiday and then obviously it comes with this plastic um, bag so I suppose that is an extra item I guess so I could probably take this on holiday as well put some bits in there so that was everything I got from the both my beauty boxes for August and like I say actually now that I've read the products I am a bit more like in the birch box so i think it was just when i opened it and there's normally like products like rolling around in the box and then open it, it was just the bag of all like looks like sample sizes but obviously the eyeshadow is not a sample size so i was just a bit like is this it i don't know um i just think i was a bit i was a bit misjudged the box really before i actually read what was in there and everything so 
let me know if you've got any different products if you get the birch box and the glossy box and i will see you in my next video bye